to my channel today i'm gonna be doing a what's in my diaper bag video and yeah let's get started so this is my diaper bags okay <laughs> so anyways this diaper bag has six pouches so this one in the front this this one on the side another one on the side then you have let me show you one right there and one right there so six pouches so first i have this travel size um neck pillow so she could sit up i have a baby girl by the way obviously but anyways so that she could sit up you know if she wants to just set up on her own or something i don't know my mama got it but it's so cute it's cheetah print and pink my favorite so i really really love this thing next i have she was starting to get a diaper rash at first so this is what we were using to cure it and um yeah it was working pretty good i mean it's gone so it only took like a day or two and also i keep this in the bag in case my lips are dry her lips are dry <laughs> or my husband lips are dry you know we just got vaseline can't go wrong with vaseline <laughs> so next i have a hat for her in case it were to be chilly outside and she needed something to go over her head or just something to go over her head period um I keep nursing pads with me. Y'all yeah, always keep a like a decent amount because I don't know. I just always keep a decent amount. It's nothing wrong with that. But anyways, nursing pads. I keep these with me in case um I'm out past my pumping time or I didn't bring my pump with me and they get too full because you know I just so happen to be leaking that moment so embarrassing but <laughs> this is what these are for i keep them on me whenever we go somewhere um i have a burp cloth you know for when i'm burping her it's pretty long i have a bib now that she's a little big a little um not big but a little bit more bigger to use it and then i have a nursing blanket just in case and i have to nurse her this is also a little blanket so it's like a, a five on one you can use it as a car seat cover you can use it as a little outfit yeah and this is actually where i took her first pictures in so i am never getting rid of this <laughs> i have an extra bottle next i have a I got a snack sucker just in case her little boogie start to act up. I have the no-brainer wipes, of course. I keep wipes. And I keep diapers. Now, I, I keep a lot of diapers. I'm not even going to lie. I keep a decent amount of diapers. I just feel like you... I'd rather have than I need y'all. And the last thing I need to be worried about is do I have diapers? Like, no. And also, I have to have that, um, I have to have that amount because I just get irritated. Like, if it was to be this much in there, I'll be like, what is going on? We need more diapers. So I just keep this much. It just makes me feel more comfortable, I guess. Um, what else do I have? Oh, let's see more diapers i keep extra onesies or extra pair of pants for her in case she have a little blowout and she just blow through her pants for some reason um wait not for some reason because she did that before so that's why i have this in the diaper bag and i keep two onesies just in case and a pair of socks and put that to the side when she has an explosion what I carry is this little small bottle of uh, wash and shampoo. So I keep this on me and I keep two washcloths. Let me just roll that back up. Two washcloths, one to wash her with and then one to wipe her down with. So that's what those are for. She can feel nice and clean. 
We keep an extra binky in her bag. I'm not putting this all on the floor, by the way. It's a little container here. <laughs> Good circle. Lanolin. Get you some. It's nipple cream. I don't know if y'all can see this. But yeah, it's nipple cream. <clears throat> I keep this because um you're supposed to use this after you get done nursing or after you get done pumping. So that way you don't experience dry, cracked, or bleeding nipples. That is something that I never ever 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 that is just something that i never want to experience your nipples are sensitive sis so why not try to prevent that i can't even imagine the pain i i just don't so i just use a lot every single time um and next i have this pouch it's a small little pouch it's a safety kit i got this from walmart actually it was about like 15 14 dollars something like that it has two pouches so a pouch for each side and with another snot sucker i just keep that in there because it's part of the kit it comes with alcohol wipes i don't know if y'all can see this it comes with this little um baby toothbrush and i cannot wait for her to use this it's like the closest thing to a uh like her first dental appointment or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's all for that pouch. Now we're gonna go to this one. And it has a larger toothbrush. It's gonna be a while before she actually um, uses this, but I just keep it inside of the pouch so that I don't lose it. And then she has a medicine syringe. I believe that's what this is. And then, lastly, she has a medicine bottle. So, that's her little safety kit. Oh, no. I forgot something. She has a thermometer. So, yeah, in case she get a fever or something. I'm going to put some, um, you know, like baby Tylenol, baby Motrin. I don't know. Whatever is safe for her to have. I'm going to check with the doctor and just throw it in the bag just in case something were to happen. Oh, and then lastly, she has a changing pad that comes in here. You guys can see this. Let's see. So Y'all can see the changing pad. Can you see it? Yes, no, not really. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and put that back. So yeah, that's everything that I have in her diaper bag. Um, everything that I think is reasonable for a one month old during quarantine. And um, yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.